my fellow Bahamians and citizens. You know it's election season when you see this Prime Minister condemning attacks on the leader of the opposition's wife and other women connected to the PLP. Well, to the Prime Minister, I say, this dubious cease and desist order by you is a day late and a dollar short. If your chastisement was heartfelt and authentic, you would have exhibited opposition to this trend long ago. Furthermore, I find it inconceivable that you now suddenly seem to have cultivated a moral conscience and can excoriate others on common decency, having just come off the heels of one of the most disgraceful displays of indecency and political crudity ever before seen in the Parliament. Was it not you, sir, who accused the opposition leader, a fellow Bahamian, and a man who has given selfless service to this great country of wanting Bahamians to die? Was it not you, sir, who callously invoked the spirit of a dead Bahamian patriot to bolster your damnable rhetoric? Having done such a repugnant thing, how is it now, sir, that you want to chastise actions mimicking the very nature of your past expressions? How is it now, sir, that you feign peacemaker and intercessory status in public, while allegedly you are no doubt the mastermind of this brand of political warfare behind the scenes? You use your keyboard battalions comprised of f and propagandists, cronies, and apologists to bolster your rhetoric. Make no mistake, sir. Most Bahamians are not surprised. We are well aware of your predisposition to deception and mendacity. And that is why, when the bell is rung, we will collectively, resoundingly, and vociferously vote you out. <laughs>